Um, so now that we have our home page set up, now we want to start writing some individual reviews on specific products. Um, the reason we do this is one, uh, we don't just want a one page website. Um, Google likes a you know a larger website with more content. And two, by writing individual reviews on individual products, it just gives us that many more opportunities to get more traffic from the search engines. Um, you can start you know ranking for individual products. And if someone is looking for a review on a specific product, uh, they're pretty far into the buying cycle. And there's a good chance that after reading your review, they could click your link and go buy that product. So the first thing we need to do is you can either write these reviews yourself or you can have someone else do them for you. Now, if you're just starting out and you don't want to spend any money, uh, feel free to go ahead and write them yourself. Uh, but if if you're like me, I just do not like writing content. So I always outsource it, and I'm going to show you in a second here how you can have it outsourced for you know extremely cheap to the point where you know it's almost crazy to be writing it yourself. But the the review format I like to use goes like this: um, the review will simply start out with an overview of the product, then I'll list out you know the top five or so features of the product, and then I'll list the pros and the cons. Now a lot of you might say. Why would you list the cons when you're trying to get them to actually go buy this product? Uh, well, first off, you know people want an honest review. If you only, if the entire review is just completely glowing and you don't point out one negative thing, you know it obviously looks not very, not like an honest review. So I like to let, list some cons, um, and they might not be that big of a deal, but just some ne some negative points of it, um, something it may not have, what have you. I'll usually definitely list, list a lot more pros and cons, but. Um, you know, we do want to have a nice, honest review, and then I'll give my rating of it. Um, so whether it's you know, four out of five or three out of five or what have you, because you know people are going to come to your site to look for these reviews. If you review a product that just isn't good and it gets a ton of negative reviews, you can write a um, a non you know glowing review and give it a two out of five. And what people will do, well, they'll start looking at other reviews on your site to find one that does meet what they're looking for. Um, so you can, you know, you can review products that you don't like. Um, it just makes for a nice, nice, honest, and non-biased looking uh, site. So that's the format I use: an overview, then I list the features, and I go into the pros and cons, and then I give a rating. You don't have to follow that. That's just the, uh, you know, the overview that works well for me, um, and kind of what I use. So now, if you're going to write them yourself, you know, go ahead and write them yourself. Um, but I'm gonna, I use several different. Um, several several different places to get my content writing. The one I use the most right now is a site called iWriter.com and what it is is you basically go in and post a project and then you have writers basically write that article for you and then you get to look at it and either accept it or decline it. Um, so I'll you know go in and say I need five product reviews and I'll list the products and then you know, I just hit submit, and then I'll have writers submitting product reviews to me. Um, but before I actually pay for them, I get to look at them, review them, and if I don't like it, I just reject it, and then it goes back out in the queue, and someone else can write for it. So you never pay until you actually get the article that you're happy with, which is what I love about this service. Um, on the flip side, another site I use a lot is Fiverr.com. Um, and same deal here, you basically look for somebody to write the articles for you, but the problem with Fiverr is if they write an article you know, and it's crap, you can you cannot accept it and then you know, Fiverr, um, I've actually never done it, so I, I think Fiverr just gives you your money back because you're not actually paying this person, you're paying Fiverr and then Fiverr pays them. You know, but on, on Fiverr, I'll just walk you through it quick in case you do want to use it. I use Fiverr for a ton of stuff um, but writing product reviews just isn't one I do much anymore. Um, so I could type in product reviews. And this is probably going to be about people wanting to review my products. It's, um, oh, here's one exactly. I'll write a unique 300 word product review of an Amazon product or any product for $5. Um, here's another Amazon review for 5 bucks. What you want to do on Fiverr is, let's say I, I think this is a good one. So I click on it. And I wait for it to load.
And then what you want to look at, look at is their gig rating. So anytime somebody buys this gig, they get to rate it. Um, so if I scroll down, you can see there's 48 positive reviews and three negative. So that's, you know, that's pretty good. And you can also write what people uh, wrote about it. You can also see how long it'll take for them to deliver it. This is three days. And they have no orders in the queue. Let's take a look at this one. This one has 65 positive reviews and zero negative reviews and 18 people start it. So basically you can star it to kind of bookmark it for yourself. So that usually means people are happy with it. Um, this is four days, you know, again, a hundred percent gig rating. So what you want to always do on Fiverr is look at the gig ratings because um, that's basically how Fiverr polices itself is if you buy something and it's crap, you give a negative review. And if enough people give a negative review, you're going to have a bad gig rating and everyone can see, you know, basically not to use that gig. So that's how you use Fiverr. You know, you just order now and then tell them what product you wanted them to review. Real easy to use. Um, the only reason I don't usually use it for product reviews is because, you know, I like my product reviews to be very well written and formatted the way I want. A lot of times with, you know, a Fiverr gig, you can't tell them how you want it formatted. They're just going to write you the article. Um, and also with iWriter, you know, I get to read it and either reject it or accept it. And the other big thing is you will see when I log into iWriter, it's actually going to be cheaper than five bucks. So Fiverr is a little more expensive. But so you have the option of Fiverr. Again, I like to use iWriter, so I'm just going to log in here. So on the inside here, uh, once you just create an account, it's completely free. There's no cost to you. What you can do is you can request articles to be written. So I'm going to do that. And then for the project description, I'm going to put product product reviews, category, um, it's sleeping bags. I'm actually going to use shopping and product reviews. Article length, um, you get to choose how long you want the article to be. For me personally, 300 words is usually enough. You know, a lot of people will tell you for you know, SEO, a longer article is better. Um, it's just kind of hard to write 500 words on a, you know, a single product. Um, so, you know, that's, that's really up to you. The, the more content you have on the page, obviously, you know, Google's going to like that a little more. Um, but for me, I've found 300 word reviews work just fine. I've even used shorter ones that worked fine. And for me, 500 words just is kind of, you know, an excessive amount. Um, so I'm going to do 300. I'm going to let all writers um, see my request. You can do premium, so only four to five star writers see your request. Again, iWriter kind of polices itself. After you get an article written, you get to rate that writer between you know uh, one and five stars. But you'll see at 300 words, it's going to cost me two dollars an article. So you know it's so cheap. I just don't write my content anymore. There's no reason to, um, and it's cheaper than Fiverr as well. Um, if I go to premium, so only the top people are going to get it, it's $4 an article. Um, I just don't do that because I get, you know, using all writers, I get very good articles. And again, if I get crap, I can just reject it and it goes back out um, into the queue. So now I need to give them my keywords or what I want them to write the articles on. Um, the way I'm going to do that is I go back to Amazon. And again, I'm at the best sellers in camping and sleeping bags. So I'm just going to get reviews on the top, you know, you could do the top 10, um, top five, um, just for, you know, this sake right here, I'm just going to do the top five. So I'll just simply copy these in. Um, I don't need the assorted colors in there. Then I'll get the next one. Let me stretch this out so they're not running onto each other. And then I'll get number three here. And I'll get number four. And again, I don't need this dimensions in there. They don't need to really be reviewing that. And then I'll grab the uh, fifth one here. So again, I'm just telling them what I want the reviews on um, I'll just do the top six. You want to make sure you're getting reviews on the products you listed on your homepage. So those top three, you know, make sure you get reviews on those. Um, so you can see now 
I did um, five of them. I think I actually did six, didn't I? One, two, three, four, five, six. So it's telling me ten dollars. It should be twelve, but I'm sure it'll correct itself. So again, you just enter in, you know, the the products you want reviewed. And again, I'm just going to do the Amazon bestsellers because those are the most popular ones. Um, you know, the ones people are actually out there buying. Um, friendly tone. I'm going to do more of a professional tone because I don't. I've done friendly tone. I don't like usually how people write that. Um, article purpose. I'm going to say review of products and then special instructions so I'm gonna tell them um, I would like let me just write in here quick so you don't have to watch okay so I just gave them some instructions here and I just said I would like the reviews to follow this format start with an overview of the product then list the features then list the pros and cons of the product um, so again I want you know that I want it. I want the article written in a certain way, and I can do that on iWriter. I can give them exactly um, the format. So I'm just, up here. I'm just gonna put Amazon. I'm gonna change this to Amazon product reviews, um, just so they know they can go get information on each product from Amazon. Um, that's all there is to it. So I have product reviews, um, shopping and product reviews, 300 word articles. Um, I listed my six articles, so it's going to cost me twelve dollars. Um, so again, to basically fill my site with content, it's going to cost me twelve bucks. Um, and one thing I will point out is I'm just going to do six to start out with. You know, basically, you want to just keep adding new reviews to your site. Um, you know, every couple of days, Google loves to see a site that continues to grow. Um, so I'm going to start with six, and you know, once I have those all posted and published, um, I can always come back and get more. And then I am just going to let me scroll this up here. You just hit submit project, and it's just telling me that you know when an article is written, I, I have 48 hours. That's one thing I actually should point out. If you're going to use iWriter, when somebody submits an article for you to review, you have 48 hours to review it. If you don't review it in those 48 hours, it automatically gets approved. So you might end up getting some crap if you don't if you aren't you know on top of this so again you have 48 hours to review each article um, and that's when you can accept or decline Did that go through Hit okay and for some reason there it goes um, so there again I have my product reviews and if I scroll that down you can see each has them all listed and of course nobody's written them yet so now so from there I'll just wait to get these submitted and then I'll show you how to post them to your site again you can write these yourself if you're gonna write them yourself just move on to the next video um, but again I got 12 product reviews written uh, for two bucks each so for me it's just no use for me to write them myself so I recommend iWriter you can also use Fiverr uh, or if you have your own person you like to go to for articles use them as well but in the next video now we'll start adding these to our site